Hello, my YouTube friends. I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm just going to teach you on how you can place the reinforcement on a wall, as you can see from here. Now, this wall also has some embedded columns as part of the wall. So I'll show you on how you can place all these rebars from start to finish. Make sure that you don't skip anything. Watch all the way up to the end and you should be able to place your rebar just like this. If I just go to level one, you see that that is the rebar, which is right here. And I'll show you step by step just in this lesson. Now, if I just go to the 3D view, let me show you the entire model. I can simply go to properties and activate the section box by clicking there. And you see that that is the complete model. And we are going to work within this model. So, so without wasting time, let's get started in this lesson. In case there's anyone who'd like to join me in a course in Revit Structure, Revit Architecture, and Robot Structure Analysis Professional, please make sure that you check the links in the description. Now, what I'm going to do is to simply delete everything here so that you can follow from start to finish. I'll select everything, click on filter, check none, pick structure rib, apply OK, and simply delete from there. And this is what we have. Now, this is level one, but what I'm going to do is to simply cancel this one. And I'll start by going to the project browser. You see that we have the properties and also the project browser. Go to south here. And I just want to add a section here, cut a section there uh, by going to view, then section, click on section, go to properties, and now pick the, I can use the detail section there. Then I can cut a section from this point up to that point and drag this one, maybe below that opening, just like that. Now I can double click this head so that I can have that detail right here. Then click the box there and drag it so that you can see what you're working with. I can go to south and close this one. So just have the 3D view and this view right here. All right, now to place the reinforcement on this wall, all I need to do is just click on that wall. Now go to area reinforcement. This is the easiest and fast, fastest way of placing the reinforcement on the wall, especially if it has some openings. Click on area reinforcement, just click on OK. Now you are going to notice that under the properties, we have the structural area enforcement with all these properties. And under the draw ribbon here or box here, you are going now to sketch how far you want the enforcement to be. So I'll click on ribbon line and just pick lines there and make sure that I just pick the boundaries for my wall by clicking there, all right? Then picking that boundary, that boundary and also that boundary there. Now make sure that you trim GR on the keyboard to make sure that all the corners are trimmed just like that. Make sure that you don't leave out any gap, otherwise you're going to experience an error. All right, now I'm going to assume that the major direction is the vertical one, so that even as I start changing the properties here, I will know that this is the major direction. I'll select there and pick it. You see that those two lines will appear right here once you do this you need now to come here and maybe here just need to change the layout through this is maximum spacing it's fine i'll go to the layers right here we have exterior major bar type i want to use 16t exterior major direction that's okay if i deactivate it then it will not apply here then i have exterior major hook orientation I don't want this one. I don't want the hooks. Exterior major hook type, I just need to remove this one because this one will also be deactivated. Exterior major spacing 200 millimeter is fine. Exterior minor bar type, I'll use 12T. You can check from here. Now we have a number of options here. Depending on the template that you are using, you are going to see the bar types that you want. All right. So 12T. Then exterior minor direction, that's fine. Then exterior minor hook type, okay. For the minor ones, the horizontal ones, I want to add that hook type, okay. Then we have exterior minor spacing, it's fine. Interior major bar type, okay. These are now the vertical ones. I think it's referring to the interior and the exterior as the near face and the far face on the wall as we are familiar with. 
in detailing and also structural design so this one is using you know exterior and also interior which is equivalent to you know near face and the far face all right so this is 16t and interior major hook type i don't want to add the hook for the vertical bars right right here now interior major spacing that's fine then interior minor bar type it's okay then interior minor hook type i want to add 90 degrees there and the spacing is this one so these are the properties that you have to change and we are good here just click on finish right click outside you can see that we have the rib bar inside now let me just select all the rib bar here click on filter check none structural rib bar apply okay and now under the properties make sure that you go to view visibility states click on there and activate the 3d view view and obscured click on okay click outside so that you can see the bars as you can see from here this looks perfect and it's so easy to do as you can see from here there is nothing difficult about what we are seeing here now if i want i can even delete the you know the this one here which is structural area reinforcement i can just click on remove there all right so that now i'm able to you can see that these are this you know rebar can now be edited separately they can be moved and you can do whatever you want with all these rebar sets separately okay so you can see the rebar is there if I just go to that detail, you see that is the river that we have. Now, we have now to place the reinforcement within this column. Okay, so I'll change this one to find level of detail so that we see the river like that. And you can see that the river goes all the way up to the end. So what I'll do, I'll select this one and simply drag it so that it's outside this column because I'm going to place some river within the column there then i'll also select this one just drag it like that right until it reaches the other one okay make sure that you drag it just like that now this one is not you know picking the the cover so i can select on that one you can see that the cover is right here i can even drag or i can use ripper constraints as you can see it's snapping right there i'll just leave it there i can do the same thing at the bottom here and let me first of all go there graphic display cancel from there i'll just click there apply okay so that i can see the bars like this all right so i'll select on that one once again make sure that it snaps there by the cover do the same for this one and make sure that it snaps there now the river again because we are going to place some other river within the column i'll select on it simply drag it until it reaches somewhere there select on this one also and i'll drag it all right until it reaches it snaps with the other one as you can see i'll leave it the way it is because it's fine with me now let me add the stir ups here within the column i'll select on that column then click on river then make sure that you pick the bar that you want i'll click there and simply drag i want to use eight r okay where is eight r if i just go down here under the r we see we have eight right here then the river shape browser here let me pick the one that i want you can drag down here and this is dependent on the template that you are using i'll click this one now we have expand to host and river by two points i'll pick expand to host so that you know it just you know fits within there but the orientation is not correct so i have to change this one parallel work plane okay so this one parallel to work plane as you can see it's right here not 18 r is too big make sure that you use 8 r just like that then move in as you can see it's right here you can click there then click on modify to escape i can click on that one and make sure that it's maximum spacing at 200 then I'll select on it and type CS to create similar so that if I go to this one, I just need to move in, click there. The river is there. Then just click there. Click once, you know, the river is there. All right. I'll cancel by right clicking just like that. Go to 3D view. See that we have it right there. Again, if I want, I can select everything, filter, 
check non structural river apply okay and i want to go to uh, view visibility states click there and make sure that you activate those two boxes apply okay and now you see that we have the stirrups right there all right i'll go back to that detail and now place the reinforcement these are the longitudinal reinforcement within the column by selecting on the column there then click on bar there then i'm just going to use river by two point then what i'll do i'll click on uh somewhere here which is the placement orientation all right so what do we have here i'll use we have parallel horizontal vertical okay i'm going to use vertical right okay this is okay river by two points now before you do anything make sure that you pick uh, the river shape browser i just want to use that shape code there and i want to use this one maybe 20t this one here you see that if i move there i'm not going to see anything so there's something that i've missed here okay if i just go there okay actually now under the placement i want to use perpendicular segment there so that if i just click that corner there you can see that i'm able to place the bars like that so just make sure that you pick river by two points current work plane then use perpendicular segment and you are able to place them like that so i want to ensure that the reinforcement is within here mm. okay now you can see that once i move it up and down you see that it drops inside so this is what i want i'll just click there and now i can also click that point move it like that it's right there then click there then i'll click on modify now i want this bus to be four so i'll change from here the maximum spacing to maybe fixed number and i want to have four bars all right i'll also change this one to fixed number and i want my bus to be four in number but with this one i'm going to deactivate the last two by just deactivating that smaller box there and also that one there so you just have these two bars in between now i'm going to mirror this one and before i mirror i can just ensure that there's no collision here okay to do that there are a number of options i can select you know uh, this bar here and i can move it inside or i can move this bar inside here it depends on what you want to do but i'll just move this one i'll select on uh, this bar here and there are so many ways of doing it if i just go to edit bars i can click on edit bars here then i'm going to select on this one and i just want to move this bar from this point maybe up to i'm able to move this bar up to somewhere there this bar is moved then i can click on finish so that there's no collision there all right now i can select you know that river set then click on mirror or dm on your keyboard but what i want to do i want to mirror it by the center of this face so i'll right click then snap overrides and i'll click mid between two points so i'll click this point and click that point this point okay now i can click this side you see that it's going to mirror i'll also mirror uh the river there the two of them by clicking on dm or just click there now i'll right click and snap overrides snap between two points and i want to mirror it between the middle of you know this face here so i'll click there and just click there now i can click vertically straight there you see that it's going to mirror all right now i'm not happy i'm not happy with you know this bus here if i want i can simply move this bar right just in this view and not within the, the 3d view i can select on it and what i'll do i'll click on edit constraints or actually uh there is that other option let me just click this one select this one or if i want let me just move these bars so that i can even use the move to or the constraints 
I'll pick it from this point up to that point we have those two bars then I can also move this one but with this one I just need to use those handles to drag it like that and I can also move this one if I want all right so just drag it like that up to there and I think I'm happy with what I have on this column as you can see now let me just counter check if the ribbon is within the host there I'll select those hold controls select the ribbon just like that I'm holding control now I'll go to host and select host you see that it's hosted on this column now I can select propagate ribbon and now I can pick this column see that the ribbon is right there I can actually ah uh, I should have I'm doing a double count let me just uh, erase the uh, not and check from there I'll just need to pick the ribbon which I want to copy because the syrups are already there on the other two columns so I'll pick these then I'm just going to use you know propagate where is propagate I'll click on our uh, host then propagate ribbon I'll propagate I'll use this face okay you can see aligned by face is the option that I'm using I'll pick that face and I'll go down here and pick this face you can see now I'm just copying the ribbon that I selected and I can pick that face uh, that face there you can see that we have the ribbon because the stirrup is already there and I'll click on finish okay we are almost there if I just go to my 3d view can see that we have the you know the the ribbon within the column let me just select everything here then i'll go to filter check none structure ribbon apply okay and from here i'm just going to make sure that the view visibility states is selected under the view unobscured okay and you can see that we have the ribbon on this wall okay that is the column and as I said, it's as simple as this. You can place your enforcement on your walls. You can see that it's not going to place using that option. You know, area enforcement, it will leave out the walls just like this. So in this way, you are able to create the reinforcement on any kind of a wall.